What's going on YouTube? This is BX Bomber 78 back at you with another video unboxing and overview. And today I have the MSI GE76 Tiamat edition. This is the GE761283. That's the specific model. And this is the um, special edition Tiamat version, okay, of the GE76 Raider. All right, so I'm gonna go over a couple of specs with you guys um, directly from the manufacturer's site. Um, and kind of give you an overview of this. This one has an Intel uh, 11 Gen Core i9 processor with an NVIDIA um, GeForce 3070 graphics card. Now this uh, retails for $3,099.99. This is the standard box it comes in, all right? I just received it today. So let me go over the specs for you guys and then from there we'll do our unboxing overview and then I'll show you a uh, comparison of both systems side by side and some synthetic benchmarks, all right? And, Definitely leave your comments down below. And if you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you join it, hit the thumbs up. And uh, let's go ahead and go. All right, so um, this has the Windows 10 Home Operating System, the Intel Core i9-11980HK processor. Um, it has a base speed of 2.6 gigahertz and a turbo speed of 5 gigahertz, okay? It's on the Intel HM570 chipset. All right, uh, the graphics card is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 with eight gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM. Now, in comparison with the um, MSI GE76 Raider, um, it's a 3080 with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM, okay? Um, so this also has 32 gigabytes of DDR4, 3200 megahertz uh, RAM. Uh, has a killer LAN E3100. LAN port, all right? The wireless LAN is a killer Wi-Fi 6E AX 1675, all right? Uh, chipset, Bluetooth 5.2. Audio is an Ahimic 3 or high-res audio provided by Steel Series. all right? Um, it has a, a one HDMI uh, video port. This is HDMI 2.1, uh, which pushes out 4K at 120 hertz and 8K at 60 hertz. It also has one mini display port, version 1.4. Okay. Uh, also, it has one USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2 port and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. It has one audio combo port, uh, which is both headset for you know the headphones and the mic. Um, it also has one Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 port and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 port. Okay. Um, it also comes with one terabyte of NVMe SSD uh, storage, uh, which is the PCIe. Uh, four by four, all right. So that's the latest version of PCIe. It also has one SD uh, card reader, uh, 1080p 60, excuse me, 1080p 30 frames per second, um, full HD webcam. Um, it also has a Steel Series per key RGB with anti ghosting uh, keyboard by Steel Series. Uh, two Dyn Audio, two watt speakers, and two one watt uh, passive radiator woofers. Uh, the power adapter is 280 watts, all right? It has a 4-cell 99.9 watt-an-hour battery, 17.3-inch uh, full HD, 360 hertz, 3 millisecond IPS panel for the display, all right? Um, it's in a special edition Dragon Tiamat um, format or version, all right? And it weighs 6.39 pounds, all right? So those are the, the main highlights in regards to uh, this unit. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, I think I gave you some context. All right, so this is the box it initially comes with. It's a very plain MSI box. All right, um, there's really nothing on the sides. On the top is just the MSI tape. Um, some of the tape, you know, looked like during transit, some of the tape got removed off the box, but some of it is still secure, as you can see. All right, so, um, you know, on this side is a sticker with some of the specs, the serial number, everything else, which I'm not going to show you guys because it has my serial number on it. Um, and then you have a battery warning on the other side, all right? Lithium battery warning, all right? So let's go ahead and open this up. So um, I can just use the knife. I'll use the knife. Use the knife. Cut through this very nicely, all right? And let's take a look at this. Let's see what we are presented with. And again, the reason why I decided to still get this, even though I was satisfied with my um, MSI uh, GE76 Raider, uh, was because I just like this Tiamat design, man. And I'm about to look at it now. Hopefully, I fall in love with it. If I don't, then I'm just going to stick with the Raider. But uh, we'll see. 
All right. So as we open it up, we present it with some interesting uh, packaging. Now, I'm thinking back to when I unboxed the uh, GE76 Raider, which a video of it is already up as well. You can check it out. I think uh, this has better packaging, um, you know, but that could just be me. Let me swap it around so you can kind of see what's in here. And again, I haven't seen nobody online with this unit yet. So this is a wow moment for me, right? Um, I just like, like I said, the aesthetics. The Intel Core i9, it might generate more heat because it's faster, but I don't know. I'll find that out in my testing. But, um, I mean, I might just settle with the 3070. It's a limited edition. It's just, to me, I just just love it, you know. So, let's see. All right, first, let's uh, take a look at this box that we have here. This is the uh, special edition box that comes with this unit. All right, hopefully you can see it. I'm going to read what it says here. It says MSI. Uh, the votes to pursue the pinnacle of gaming experience in Dragon Edition uh, represents MSI's uh, absolute enthusiasm of product design and philosophy. It's the collection of great masterpieces. The eagerness for excellence has been carved into our DNA. In order to bring gamers the extreme gaming experience, MSI is constantly reaching for the top. Just like the ultimate strength Possessed by Tiamat, MSI is the best companion for you to rule the game world. With Tiamat, MSI is ready to lead you to create an unprecedented glory. Now, if that is not some high quality, uh, some things lost in translation from Chinese, I think, Chinese or Asian to American English, I don't know what it is, but it's something definitely that gets you excited. <laughs> all right so i thought that that was interesting that they have on there um okay so on this side is the upc is the serial number so i'm not going to show you that on the top side but it says msi tmi accessory case product name msi gaming mouse m99s tmi materials abs product name two the msi mouse pad tmi material uh, multi spandex sponge rubber and um product name three tmi decoration uh, the material is a zinc alloy and polyester. All right, place of origin is China. So I was right, it's China. All right. Um, so it's just telling you there's three accessories, right? Product name one, which is the mouse. Product name two, which is the mouse pad. Product name three, which is the Tiamat decoration dragon coin. Okay. So I really like this presentation, man. This is awesome. I remember the days past where uh, I used to buy a laptop and get a ton of you know, accessories and little things like this. And nowadays, manufacturers have cut back dr dramatically. But I do appreciate MSI for uh, actually providing one of these. And it's not like a, a, a commercial promo kit that these uh, bigger YouTube uh, social media influencers that do tech reviews get, all right? All right, so um, this is in a shrink wrap plastic, all right? I'm gonna show you around the other places of it. This says the ultimate shockwave, okay? Uh, again, the ultimate shockwave, all right, and the ultimate shockwave, all right. Now, in the back, you get to see all the dragons, or the monsters, not just dragons, excuse me, the monsters created by Tiamat, all right, which I thought was dope. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, I'm very heavy into the ancient Near Eastern cultures, so uh, this is right at home with me. This is just phenomenal, all right. I'm trying to keep it tilted so you don't get... Uh, the reflections, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, take this plastic off, all right? So to be honest with you, it's so dope, I really just prefer to keep it in the plastic, but um, I'm gonna just open up the plastic. All right, so let's see. The best way to do it without damaging the box. Okay. All right. So there we go. I'm gonna open this up. And a cool thing about this is that it comes with a mouse. It's a wired mouse. I prefer a wireless mouse, especially for uh, a laptop notebook. But I do have a Steel Series mouse, wireless mouse for my uh, that I purchased for my GE76. Um, but let's lay this down. Get on top of this. 
my GE76, but this comes with a wired mouse. You know, I'll see. I never used a wired, a wired mouse for a notebook laptop before, but being that, you know, the way this looks, I'm definitely probably just going to keep it. And if I do decide to return the GE76, if I can return it without uh, losing any money for returning it, I will. If not, I'll put it on hard form somewhere else to sell it. Or if you're interested in buying my MSI GE76 Raider, if I sell it, and that depends on the graphics performance of this unit, um, just let me know in the comments below, all right? So it has a nice little uh, Tiamat design, and it has some uh, Babylonian uh, cuneiform that's uh, going right around it. You can see the images of the different entities, and again, the Babylonian uh, writing on the side of it. The fact that MSI decided to do this, they had like a Dragon Shield edition of their of their GE series and I thought that was that looked really bad it was like orange and stuff that was really bad um it was talking about like spaceship design or something like that but you know selecting Tiamat I think based on the fact that MSI uses a dragon Tiamat is probably the best representation of um the epitome of you know their company and um you know what they actually want to accomplish as a um as a business all right all right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Make sure. All right. So I'll put it again to the screen so you can see it. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, we got a little latch here, keeping it secured. Again, uh, this has the 11th gen Intel Core i9. I'm going to compare that against the i7. I know the best price performance ratio you get is going from a 37 to 3080, then an i7 to i9 for this 11th generation. But, um, you know, we'll let the benchmarks tell the story, all right? So upon opening it, we have a piece of foam here that actually resides on the top of this. <sighs> Smells brand new. It's a wonderful smell. <laughs> All right, so we'll move this here. You know, I'm a fan of special edition laptop unboxings, accessories, and a lot of fun stuff. Um, so this really is exciting to me. It's been a while since I got a laptop that actually had these special edition type of accessories. All right, so we're going to start off first with uh, showing you the uh, Dragon Coin. Let me take the Dragon Coin out. Uh, this is very hefty. Um, the coin cannot be removed from the base. This is the coin right here, okay? It cannot be removed from the base, but that's okay. As you can see here, it looks almost like a castle. It says the ultimate shockwave on it. All right, and as you can see, the nice etching into this um, metal alloy material, very high quality, something that you can just use as a um, paperweight or just to put some some nice little design aesthetic on your uh on your desk, which this will be going if I decide to keep this, all right? Um, on the back, it says MSI. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in a little closer. There we go. Okay, it says MSI. Let me get closer so you can see the dragon coin design. Okay. All right. Um, and it looks, it looks like it was 3D printed. Um, some of the color it looks like it's rubbed off or whatever but you know that's okay all right so that's the dragon coin all right let's take a look at the mouse all right and it has a little paper here for the mouse um let me see what this says mm, it says msi gaming mouse you can see it all right MSI Gaming Mouse has nothing on the back. Um, this mouse is also available, not with the Tiamat design, okay, uh, with the perforation for, you know, to keep your hands from sweating and so forth. Um, but this mouse, without the Tiamat design, is available on the um, MSI website, okay. Um, it feels pretty lightweight. Nice click action. I like the side buttons, it's very clicky. Uh, you have two or two additional buttons here. One to change the DPI, I'm sure. I'm not sure what the other button's for. Uh, you also have a push button down on the scroll wheel. Scroll wheel feels really, really good. Overall, it looks phenomenal and it feels great. 
Um, and I want to see what it looks like when it's powered on because it definitely has a lot of LEDs that go with the Tiamat design. So I think this is dope. Uh, I think this is really dope. It has a RGB lighting switch on the bottom. It's a button right here. Okay. So let's move that to the side. All right. Next is the mouse pad. Now I was trying, I was wondering how big this mouse pad is. Um, it's not that high, but it is extremely wide. Let me roll it out and move this to the side. Roll it out so you can see. All right, there it is. That's the mouse pad. All right. Now again, I thought this mouse pad would um, would be much higher, but it's actually much wider. Um, than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be like maybe this much and a bit wider, but that's not the case. Um, it feels very high quality. Again, it looks beautiful. I mean, it looks wonderful. Um, I probably would use this not on my personal desk because I have an Alienware mouse pad already on my, my desk, but if I do travel um, or when I travel, I'll bring this with me to lay it down and I'll use it because it just looks phenomenal. Um, and here's all of the uh, monsters that Tiamat had created. Um, again, the MSI logo represents Tiamat as well around here. On this side says MSI GE76 Raider Dragon Edition Tiamat. All right. And I'll bring it up closer to the screen so you guys can see it. All right. Again, it's it's beautiful work of art. Um, very high quality. Again, I love special edition accessories. Um, I just I just give a very um, great meticulous uh, perspective of how much the company appreciates their product and how much that they want you to appreciate it as well. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and move these accessories to the side for a second. All right. And let us get back to the Tiamat device. Now, if I was looking to get a laptop to be a complete, um, what I would call desktop replacement, I would get a QHD screen and I would be okay with a 3080, but I don't believe a FHD screen, a full HD screen um, allows a uh, 3080 to fully, you know, stretch its wings and fly. So I'm okay with just going down to a 3070 um, and taking us, uh, you know, graphics performance hit um, because I do have a desktop that I have dedicated for gaming and that has a... Um, AMD Radeon um, 6800 XT graphics card, right? So I might just keep this and return the Raider, you know, so. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, move on up. All right, and let's get back to this. All right, and let me pull this out. All right, and me push this off to the side. Now, interesting thing, small little tidbit as we reveal this is when I got the Raider, um, there was a imperfection on it that I was not anticipating, and that is okay. Let me zoom in a little bit more. All right, there was an imperfection on it that I wasn't anticipating, and it did have like a nick on the side of the laptop, um, at the on the metal base of the chassis, and then a little indenture in the lid, which I thought was weird. I thought I did that, but I went back to look at the review video, and it's there. So I thought that was kind of interesting that that was the case, but, you know, let's see if that's the same thing with this here. All right, so this is a uh, hard foam, very good uh, hard foam cushioning. This is just, this just looks phenomenal. Wow. Some more hard foam cushioning. Let's take this off. All right. Already, you know, thinking about it, I think I'm just going to keep this laptop. <laughs> To be honest with you, I'm probably just going to keep this laptop with a 3070 and all because I'm already enamored by the design and everything else. All right. So here is, so you can see it, the Tiamat design. And um, once I saw this laptop available, I was like, you know what? MSI really is trying to step their game up against Asus, Alienware, Lenovo, because you have the Lenovo Legion, the new Lenovo Legion 5 and 7i out. Um, and all those other competitors, Asia Predator just released something uh, new. I don't know if they have any special editions, but um, yeah, I think this is oh, some shifting in there. That's kind of interesting. All right, so um, this is what it looks like here. At the top it says MSI. 
All right, on the side, you have some of those dragons, excuse me, monsters, I keep saying dragons. <laughs> on the other side, it showcases some more of those dragons. So the key thing is, can I live with a 3070? Yeah, I think I might be able to on a full HD screen. I think we should be okay. Um, all right, now if I had a QHD screen, then I would not downgrade at all. I just wouldn't do it, all right? So let me go ahead and open this plastic up so we can see what we got here. All right, so just give me a second. All right, let's open this up and see. So far, I like the box. Um, let's see, what's on the bottom? It just says MSI on the bottom. On the back, I would show it to you, just black on the back, but it has, you know, sensitive information like serial number and stuff like that that I do not want to put on camera. All right, so here we go. All right, um, at first glance, wow, this is like an embossed etching on this box, which feels phenomenal. Then you have Tiamat here, you have T-I-A-M-A-T, Tiamat. All right, this is, this is great, man. Um, and now uh, let me just lift this up. I mean, going forward, I probably will only get high-end special edition laptops. That's the most I ever spent on a laptop, $3,099. Never spent that much on a laptop before. All right, this is the inside of the box. It has a foam, a very thin layer of foam on it. Again, very, very good. Um, so far, no complaints. All right, let's open up this here. This is our 280-watt power supply. This is the power cord that goes into the power supply that goes into the wall. All right, I don't see the power cord, so maybe it's underneath this. Here you have a little um, slot that you can stick your finger in and lift it up. Feels very solid. It has a cloth covering with a plastic covering on top of it. Same thing with the Raider series. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what else we have in here. So open this up. This is our the rest of our power brick. 280 watts, um, very, very interesting, okay? All right, and we're gonna push this down. Let's lift this up. What do we have here? We have the same thing that I got in the GE76 Raider, which is your uh, user guide. As you can see here, here's your user guide. And then we have our warranty information and support information, okay? So this actually can stay in here because I, I do not need that at all, okay? And what I'm gonna do is slide this over. Well, actually, no, let's put the top on it. Put the top on it like this, and then we're gonna put the laptop on top of it, all right? And then we're going to uh, check it out. All right, so here it is right here. This is our Tiamat edition of the uh, MSI GE76 series. Let me go ahead and open this up real quick and uh, see what we're working with. And I'm also inspected for any nicks and blemishes. But again, I just thought that was very strange that I had some nicks and blemishes on the GE76. Uh, on the um, on the left side. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this out very carefully. All right. Take the plastic off. Take the cloth off, and here it is, all right? Let me turn it around on this side so you can see it. All right, here it is right here, and this right here is um, our navy blue design. This is uh, very, very uh, good so far, so I'm feeling on it. Um, and I thought it was gonna be, thought it was gonna be etched in, but it doesn't feel like it on this part. But this part right here does have the dragon etching on it. Uh, let me go ahead and let you see it up close. This is what it looks like on the bottom. Okay. And this is the lid. The lid actually has the etching in it. All right. A navy blue etching in it. All right. So in regards to those ports, let me take a look here. I do not see any of the same imperfections, which I think is really interesting um i see a couple of imperfections on the lid um looking on the front but i think that should be okay all right so 
Um, I would take this plastic part off, but I'm not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna just let you see what it looks like. I'm just gonna, I'm pretty much gonna keep it on it for as long as possible so I can prevent any scratching or any damage on it and moving it to and fro a laptop. Uh, bag, which I have an MSI laptop bag that I purchased. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys the ports so you can see the ports. All right, there's your ports on this side. There's your two USB type A 3.2 Gen 1 ports and your SD card and an exhaust fan towards the rear. All right, um, on the side also you have a little grill here for the passive subwoofer. All right, on the front there's nothing and you just have the light bar. All right, accessory. All right, on this side you have another rear exhaust. You have a USB Type A uh, 3.2 uh, Gen 2 and a Type C 3.2 Gen 2. USB port and a audio headphone combo jack and also down towards the front is your uh, one, watt, 1 watt passive radiator subwoofer, okay? All right, and then on the back we have your mini display port version 1.4, your USB type C, uh, Thunderbolt 4, USB 4, your uh, killer Ethernet LAN port, your HDMI 2.1 port, and your power port, all right? And you also have two uh, exhaust fans flanking the ports, all right? The thing I like about this, uh, the GE series, is the power connection. It's not the barrel type. It's like a um, rectangular type. Looks like almost like a USB Type-C port connection, all right? All right. And then on the bottom, uh, let me cover some of the stuff on the bottom. All right, in the bottom you have your honeycomb design, and on your honeycomb design is for air to be pulled in, cool air to be pulled in. All right, so I don't see any imperfections per se. Some on the front of the lid, but I think that's just the way the chassis was designed. Um, but again, I really like the aesthetics. I really like the aesthetics. Let me go ahead and open it up. It probably won't have any juice in it. When I tried to boot up the GE76 Raider, there was no juice in that um, but yeah this is a uh, truly phenomenal let's go ahead and open it up so you can see the inside right that that uh, lid it took its time to move up the hinge is very very sturdy um, there's not a lot of wobble there's no flex in the lid um, it comes also with this cloth that protects the keyboard, which I think is great because Alienware decided, hey, we're not going to do it. So, no, not a fan of companies not having that. And then now we're presented with this interior, which looks phenomenal. Again, I feel the etching and the design. My main concern was if I do long typing sessions, would it pretty much interfere by cutting into my skin? And it doesn't feel like it does. That was a concern of mine. Um, and then I'm looking here and you have your, this is just phenomenal. The design is just incredible. Um, here's your light bar here. And then here you have right here, the Tiamat name, T-I-A-M-A-T, -A -A um, on the, uh, mouse pad, um, or the touch pad. Um, it, it's not a three etching, so it's like a design. I wonder if that holds up over time. And I'm hoping it does. I mean, I won't be using this that often for it to really lose anything over time. But this is a phenomenal, phenomenal looking laptop. Um, you know, I I was trying to see will I fall in love with it? Will it be cheesy or whatever? But this is really top notch, top notch. Um, up here we have flanking the two up firing speakers. Our Steel Series keyboard, which is excellent, excellent keyboard. I mean, it's it's it has very great. Uh, tactile feel, very good um, depth. Um, yeah, so let me kind of show you what it looks like with the mouse. So let me move this over to the side some, so you can put them. I can put the mouse right next to it, and this is with the mouse right next to it. And as you can see, they are a perfect couple. Okay. Um, again, I gotta see if I can get used to wired mouses on laptops, but I mean. There's no need for me to buy a third-party mouse because this right here fits the bill phenomenally. It looks, it matches and everything, so. All right, we have the Intel Core i9, um, 
sticker right there and the NVIDIA GeForce RTX uh, graphic sticker right there as well, all right? All right, and as you can see, this is the laptop right here. All right. And um, this is the headset that I got, which is the uh, GH50, Immerse GH50 gaming headset that I got to go along with the laptop. Interestingly, um, it has a titanium blue color scheme, so it matches uh, the laptop as well as the mouse. Um, and it looks extremely, extremely impressive. Look at that. The mouse very very impressive a one-of-a-kind laptop design never seen anything like this before there's an MSI logo there some imagery right here all right so I'm gonna plug everything in so you can see what it looks like boot up it's phenomenal all right and this is what it looks like when it boots up All right, this is keyboard as you can see. The mirroring across the mouse lining up. The headset phenomenal, phenomenal laptop. Phenomenal. I tested it out, played around with it. Um it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, so I don't know how many of these are going to be available anytime soon. I was just fortunate enough to be able to get me one. And um, it's one of the best laptops I've ever worked with. Um, completely phenomenal. No buyer's remorse at all. Um, just great. All right. Now, also, you see how this is flickering down here. Um, it looks like that on camera, but in real life, it's really smooth. It is, it's not flickering like that. Just coming out like that on camera. All right, so just want to give you a heads up on it, all right? And this right here feels like it's painted on to the um, to the trackpad. Um, but yeah, that's everything. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, of the overview, the unboxing overview, and um, powering on of the MSI GE76 Tiamat, which is the special edition of the Raider series, all right? See you guys in the next video. Peace.